I was born in the Philippines. We were immigrants, came over in the late 60s. We didn't have a lot. We ended up living in what was pretty much a garage, but we were happy. My parents were really great models for me. They were really, really hardworking. In the Philippines, they had even taught in college, so they were educators. My mom went to school uh, at UCLA, so I was really indoctrinated into all things UCLA, and that was where I was gonna go. <laughs> My mom and dad wanted their only child to be a physician. Part of the process, I thought, would be, why don't I just check out some research and put that on my med school application. Back then, there used to be a kinesiology department. I happened to get into a research lab and I was hooked. Uh, I met my wife in the same lab where I was doing research. What's funny about that is that she ended up becoming a physician. My mom and dad were kind of disappointed that I never became a physician, so I promised them, well, I'll marry a physician, and that's exactly what, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. So, <laughs> yeah, my wife and I are really lucky. We have two tremendous sons. So there's this very small town, just maybe an hour's plane ride south of Manila. Uh, it's this place called Bacon Sorsogon. You know, they're fishermen or they're farmers. So the town will have typhoons and landslides. And there were a couple of years where they had it pretty bad. And so we spent part of our Christmas vacations just going down there. We bought a bunch of medicines. And, and so my wife did basic health care for folks who needed it. Anybody who wanted to see a physician came to my uncle's house and we were there. My oldest son did patient intake. My younger son helped do blood pressure. And we saw about 100 people. And my wife uh, and my kids did such a great job. I grew at Cal State LA. And what ended up happening is I got really turned on to just helping people. Cal State LA gave me the freedom to do things. And so I started the Mobility Center, which is a clinic. The idea was to have kinesiology students learn how to do exercise therapies. So it was really a, a service learning kind of approach. The CASA LA students are so good at service learning and our students just ate it up. I've still maintained a basic science research laboratory and there we're trying to understand how does exercise change the biochemistry of the spinal cord? Because we know exercise is good. What we want to know is why is it good? Is so we still have our clinical research going on, and, and this has really taken off. I have some tremendous colleagues, and uh, we are working together on a project to help people who have spinal cord injuries and are wheelchairs users, help them to exercise by developing apps. Um, but when I at the Cal State LA, what I found was the ability of these students to interact with other people, to have empathy, and just to be, I think, all around really strong in your personal skills. What you want is somebody who can actually help you feel good about yourself. And, and I think that's the type of person our students have been, and that's what surprised me and made just being a Cal State LA fantastic.